<laughs> Critique what we are and criticize what we have become. A soundtrack for routine. Branded our hearts with barcodes, sitting in aisles waiting to expire. We built orchestras to carry out dreams when really, all you need is a kazoo to compose a symphony. Have we forgotten how to love ourselves? Because we have forgotten how to open up arms. The proof. A 70-year-old man was found dead in his Long Island home a year after he died. Still sitting in front of the television, just a decaying corpse left vacant to affection, we are blueprints for tragedy. We have starved too many stomachs once filled with breath, once filled with souvenirs and pinky swear promises. The prophecy will be gone, and the hourglass of anatomy will become barren, but the only thing we'll miss is the feeling of water pressure on our necks, so we'll make wishes at water fountains rather than gods, laughing at how ignorant we are to reality. We want to bend spoons and mend hearts figuratively while nations communicate as much as a Charlie Chaplin movie, saying nothing, just silence. Watching the planets and the stars turn their backs on us, we are blueprints for disaster. We have gotten ourselves choked up in this arm race to invention, and what has technology really brought us anyways? Weapons are used for the offensive, televisions are used for obese excuses, and the internet is for porn. Yes. <laughs> now the other day I held the door open for an elderly woman, and as she said thank you, she told me that I was the last gentleman on earth. And if I'm the last gentleman on earth because I held the door open for a grandma, then we are fucked. <laughs> that is some jackassery, let me tell you. We have forgotten how to simply be animals, going back on instinct and adapting to surroundings and forgetting the sense of beauty. Butterflies taste with their feet, and I would love to taste every place I've ever been, make sense of everything that I ever felt, but it's time we start focusing on the senses we have, because we don't listen, we don't see, the universe speaks to us through crop circles. I have figured out hymns in crop circles, hymns you can't hear. They're just dots of braille for giants too blind to realize how powerless we can all be when we just give in. The universe speaks to us, but you cannot interpret something that is more than you. Oblivious to caution tape and disregard at every stop sign, asterisks are now holding up legacies while our guardian angels pawn their halos for crap. We have beaten the living daylights out of whispers and moved on with our tanny booth existence. We are blueprints for failure. And by the way, those crop circles, they read like patchwork, saying, Mankind, you didn't live up to the hype. You kind of sold out. Just go back to being fragile.